Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about DocuSign and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question I keep getting a lot on one of my other videos and that is how do you DocuSign on your iPhone? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video. Why would you want to DocuSign a document on your iPhone? Well, that's pretty easy. Maybe you're in the midst of a purchase contract and the other party is asking you to DocuSign something. So you want to go ahead and take care of it on your iPhone. Whatever the case is, is a pretty easy process. It's handled here in your DocuSign app. It's this yellow and black one right here. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well, but I'm going to go ahead and open up my DocuSign now. Okay, guys, I went ahead and opened up my DocuSign. This is the home screen. Now here on the home screen, if you want to DocuSign a document using your iPhone, it probably means somebody sent you a document and they're asking you to go ahead and sign off on it. Now what's going to happen is you need to make sure they use the email address that you have associated with your DocuSign account. If they did send it to that account in your DocuSign, it's going to show up right here. As you can see, I have action required number one here on the top left, or you can just go through the recent activity and look for the document that you need signed on your iPhone. So let me click on action required. Okay. So here it lets me know I have one document that's waiting for my signature in DocuSign. So it's pretty easy. I can go ahead and sign that with my iPhone. So first you're going to need to open up the document. So I'm going to click on this document here. Okay. So here it gives you a little bit more information like the title of the document. And what you want to do is go ahead and click on this blue sign button down here on the bottom, right? Okay. I just opened up this example document. This is just a blank page paper that I uploaded. So what's going to happen is if someone is asking you to sign it. Okay. So I've already opened up the document. This is just a general screenshot that I went ahead and uploaded for signature. Now what's going to happen is if somebody wants you to sign this document, they've already uploaded where you need to sign it. So you're going to see this little signature button and it's going to say sign. All you're going to need to do is just click on the button and then it'll sign for you. And then you can click on next. However, if they did not indicate where you need to sign, it doesn't matter. You can go ahead and upload the signature or even your initials by these little yellow buttons down here on the bottom. So so this is the document here. All you're going to do is just click and drag one of these to where you'd like to sign it. So let's say we want to go ahead and put our initials here. Once you put your initials, you can go ahead and resize it if you want. So you can see you can make it bigger just to make it line up with the font of whatever the document is. If you want to go ahead and type in a text, like for example, if you put void after two hours or something, whatever it is you want to write, you can write that in here, void. And then same thing, you can resize this and make it a bigger box so that we have more information to write a note in there. And then also you can go ahead and put the date if you want. So so we put the date right there next to our initials and then you can always move these things around as well. So if you need to see it closer, you can go ahead and zoom in and you can see it's a little easier to kind of get it exactly where you want it to be. And you can go ahead and put your name, just your first name, just your last name, your email address, your title, your company, all of that. You can go ahead and input that information and it just goes right over the document. And again, if someone else is asking you to sign this document, you're not going to have to do this. You can if you want, but usually you're just going to click on a button and then it's going to go ahead and sign for you. And now we're done signing this DocuSign inside of our iPhone. So we're going to click on this blue next button here on the top, right? Okay. So here you can go ahead and share a copy. Now that this document has been completed, if you wish to do so, if not, go ahead and click on this finish signing button down here on the bottom written in blue. Okay. So next you get this confirmation. So the document has been signed. So what's going to happen is anybody who is CC'd to receive a copy of this document, they'll automatically receive a copy of this completed signed document in their email and also inside of their DocuSign. And that way they can go ahead and download it. So while it might seem a little complicated is actually much easier than going and printing out the document, signing it physically, and then scanning the document and then emailing it. This way, everybody receives a copy of your DocuSign immediately that you took care of in your iPhone. Once it's completed, let me go ahead and jump on over to the email that you can expect after you have DocuSign something in your iPhone. Okay. So here is a copy of the email that you and all parties who are signed up to receive a copy of this document here in their email. So they can click on here and view the completed document, or they can easily just scroll down. And then if they click down here, they're going to see a copy of the signed document. So they're going to get a PDF in their email. You can see that it's initialed right here. And then also the date that we added is right there. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to use DocuSign on your iPhone, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.